Are you having a lovely evening? I'm having a lovely evening. It's my first NME Awards. Is it? And I will, I will thank you for the invite. I will thank NME for the invite, but we had a little chat a couple of weeks ago. I told you I'd never been before. So thank you very much. I sorted it out, man. You did. I made it happen. You did. So who have you been hanging out with downstairs? What have you been up to? I've been hanging out with Professor Green. Do you know each other before? No, we just met. We sat on the same both. table. What a lovely bloke. All right. When's the collaboration happening? Well, you never know. I don't know yet. And I, I need to get back to the table to talk to him about it. But, okay. um, but no, it was uh, I've just himself, Big Moon, um, various other people, to be honest. You know what it's like down there. Mayhem. Rob, Robin Childers. Mayhem, yeah. Liam Gallagher is our godlike genius. Are you an Oasis fan? Is that something that you... I into? am, you know. Yeah. I, was a, I was a little, little kid when Oasis were really exploding around the world. And it was a little tiny weeny bit too early for me. But it didn't take me long. Once I'd grown up a little bit, I clocked it. Um, and uh, so of course I'm an Oasis fan but Liam is obviously doing his thing and it's very cool to see it happening and I'd never heard of an award a godlike genius award before but what a title who is your godlike genius your personal godlike who's genius who's mine I've got more than one and I'm sure I'm sure we all do I mean it's got to be it's got to be David Bowie how can you not how can you it's got to be David Bowie for the majority of the population and Bowie's an influence on the new album isn't he he is He's definitely an influence on the new album. Um, I've got more godlike geniuses. Joni Mitchell was always one of those for me. Blondie, Debbie Harry, Prince. She was godlike genius four years ago. Oh, is that right? We've already done it, mate. Deserved. Thank you. you know what you're doing. Ahead of the curve. So, do we have a definitive release date for the new record yet? It's it's the it's the something of spring. The sun, yeah. That's the definitive release date at the moment. <laughs> Valentine's Day is today. It felt quite... Wild Love, new single, felt very relevant. Mm -hmm. I, felt, I, I didn't actually... I'm not going to say I forgot Valentine's Day. I didn't. I haven't yet. I almost did. <laughs> but, um, but on top of everything else, I did realise that, oh, Wild Love is out. And, it's, and, and it only came out a couple of days ago. And, very and, appropriate. And, and, it's, and it's Valentine's Day, which I thought was kind of cool. Who is your all-time musical crush? Oh, my God, Beyonce. No question. Without I, skipping I a beat. Agree. Has to be. What are you excited about this summer? No Glastonbury. No Glastonbury, so I'm What's not excited. I think we're all excited about those cows getting a break. <laughs> we're all excited about those cows being able to chill out in that field. Um, I'm excited about festivals. I'm excited this summer about playing live again. I've just done a whole summer, 2017, without playing any shows. It was rubbish. Are you a bit rusty? No, I'm not rusty. I'm actually in rehearsals, like, not right now. But um, <laughs> last week and, and this week, I've been rehearsing the band, and um, I'm trying to juggle a drink and a microphone right now. And uh, just thought I'd swap hands. Um, yeah, the, you know, the, uh, I'm excited to just play shows again, and festivals are one of my favourites. So I can't wait to be doing that again.